what up? This is Strawberry Jammies. Welcome to my Let's Play. It's my very first Let's Play. And I'm doing Fire Emblem Sword of Seals because my heart forever lies with Fire Emblem. Uh, this is my first time. I'll give you a little background on me uh, in my video game hood. Oops, not that one. Uh, Fire Emblem is the Pokemon of my childhood. For any of you guys who adored Pokemon growing up, that's me but Fire Emblem. Um, I also like tons of other games, anything from Portal to Smash. I love strategy, but I can get my rage on if I need to. <laughs> but anyway, I'll let this roll. I'm not really reading it at all because I've restarted the beginning of this game like four times already. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to do a dang Let's Play. Um, but anyway, I'm really excited to play this game. I haven't actually played the whole thing through. I played the first six chapters, if you guys saw that other save state. Um, yeah, I, I started it and then was like, hey, I should do a Let's Play. So then I, yeah, you know, I'm restarting it for you guys because there's some soul out there like me who is like, I'll never get to play this game and looks up Let's Plays until you find emulators and it's a miracle. So this is the, um, the one after the one with Ellawood, which is the first one that was localized in um, in English, really. And uh, so th this game and some of the ones before that are uh, fan translated, which some beautiful bilingual people out there did. Bless them. Bless people who can speak more than one language. Seriously, like I, I try. <laughs> I'm like, uh, donde esta el baño? <laughs> Get weird looks. Anyway. Basically all that's important about any of this, if I've been distracting you, is like there was a war with dragons and now there's no dragons and now there's another war. <laughs> Basically all you need to know is there's a bunch of countries and then one of them is being a douche, which you will find out soon. Suddenly disrupted by this douchebag, who you totally saved his butt in the last game with Elwood when he was like 12. Which is something I like about this game, like they have recurring characters and like recurring maps. So kind of like, you don't have to play the one before it, but it's like really interesting to watch it um, and how it connects. But yeah, you save him and his sister and now he's being a douche and paying you years later by killing people. Roy! Roy's hot boy. Man, I always wanted to play this game since I saw him in Melee. I was like, I'll never get to play. <laughs> Elwood! And he's so sick now. He's so old and sick. I'm probably like middle aged. I don't know how old he is. But, aha! Hector. He grew a beard. <sighs> he kind of looks like a fogey now. <laughs> but he would grow a beard. He would. It's like, I am the manliest man of men who need to go chop down a tree with my teeth. I don't know. You guys, if you guys have played the other game, you'd know. Aha! And your knight. Of course he's a knight. You can always tell when there's knights. They're like the burliest looking ones. Except for in like the newer games. Where there's like a female knight, but then she's like wearing lady armor. The kind that like <laughs> in real life would kill you if you got hit while wearing. <laughs> like, aha, there goes your sternum. Aha, and then here's Bucky. The exposition bandit number one. And there's another guy, exposition bandit number two. The greatest knight in Lycia. Yeah, that's that. They, they're just here to explain background. I just laughed when I first read it because I was like, was that necessary? Did you have to specifically say that it's like <laughs> the greatest knight? Like, you shouldn't give three craps about who he is. You should be like, mmm, treasure. Yes. You should do that because reinforcements are coming. AKA, I am here. Well, come and kick the booty. Okay. Yeah, I like how buck teeth are like a recurring thing in bandits, as if other people on this planet don't have buck teeth. But come on, guys, buck teeth are beautiful. Let's get on with this. Oh, of course, you destroyed the village. They probably had like some gold for me or something. And here's Merlinus. Oh, yes, I love Merlinus. He's kind of like crotchety, but in the other game, there's this really cool mechanic where he like is a convoy for you, and but he's like a little tent, and you have to like defend him a certain amount of. Uh, chapters before he like becomes a little wagon you can like run around with him 
That's what I like about these old games. They like have really cool things that make it more difficult to play, rather than in like the new games, which I love. They're good. I love Fire Emblem. I bought two systems for it. <laughs> it's the only reason why I have a DS and 3DS. But um, yeah, it's not just like ah, look at all these OP things, like all the abilities that make it so hard for you to do the math, whether you're gonna die or not. So we have a new. I wouldn't know what to say. To Hector. Oh yeah, you wouldn't want your best friend's daughter to die by your watch. That would suck. <sighs> I'd be like, hey bro, sorry. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, Roy is almost here. This Roy's our boy. <sighs> Every time I think of Roy, I just think of that chanting me. Must have warned him, even though he probably has eyes and sees some random people with axes hanging around. But I guess in real life they're not, like, red to indicate they're an enemy. The guy just, like, totally ran over them! <laughs> Come on, Lance. <laughs> he just, like, walked over those guys. Could have at least, like, done us the help of killing them as you run over them. Bandits are attacking as we speak. Okay, well then, shut up and hurry up. Well, I guess that's, that's important to say that he's sort of safe. The adorable purple haired one. Well, it's like purple blue, so I'm wondering like what color the mom's hair is. Like, is it red and then Hector's blue hair makes it purple? Is that how genetics work in this like anime world? You could get some really weird colors if you like had like complimentary color people and they like it'd be like, ah, this green haired person and red haired person have a baby. Their hair is brown. <laughs> ah, Marcus. I don't even really remember when Marcus was young. Like, I looked back on a picture from the other game, uh, which is actually called Blade and Sword, if any of you guys are wondering. Like, in the English one, it just says Fire Emblem. Okay. So I'm going to give a little explanation as to what I know about units, because uh, I've played all of the- I own all of the English localized games, and I've played all of them, like, religiously. Um, I haven't beat Conquest and uh, Birthright yet, though. So no spoilers. Anyway, so like especially in the Game Boy uh, Advance games with Fire Emblem, you get a uh, pretty like constant lineup in your first things. So you always get your two Cavaliers. So one's stronger and one's faster. So I think Alan is stronger and Lance is faster. And ironically, Lance isn't really given a real Lance. It's just like a freaking javelin, which is the worst. You can't hit any freaking buddy. <sighs> anyway. So he'll be able to hit more and he'll be able to hit twice, usually. I was playing a couple of the levels earlier, or, or like later beyond this chapter, and randomly he, he, he couldn't hit twice and then Alan was hitting twice, so it's like, this is upsetting the balance of the world. Anyway, these little walnuts here, you get your uh, lord person who's generally like kind of sucky and doesn't move very far compared to the other people, which is annoying. But you always get a rapier with them, and you always have to like go and make a point of buying a friggin' iron sword. And you get your bow dude, who's like ite. He's good. Both both people are good. <laughs> it's good to have range attack. He's like Will 2.0 essentially. If you've played the other game, this guy named Will. Okay, uh, Marcus, your pre-class changed person, which you think is good now, but is actually sucky later in the game. So I don't bother to use him that much, other than a meat shield or emergencies. Because I can like spend that EXP on other things. And then you have your knight, which is like horrendously slow. Here we are. Four move, which is why I like never use them. And they can get OP, but is it really worth it in the end? No. Because they're so slow, I can't. I don't bother with it. It's just too much work. Okay, so these are. Uh, let's attack this peep over here. One away? Really? For reals? You're gonna do that to me? That's just this is rude. I'm gonna be like that. Okay, well, at least you are helpful. And I forgot the animations on. So, like, these are awesome animations. But, like, I don't have the time to watch them. <laughs> I'm just like, eh, nobody has time for that. <laughs> so they're beautiful and I like pixel animation and I do pixel animation of my own. So it's up my alley of genuine interests, but I just I just want to progress with the story more than I want to wait around while they attack people. I don't care. Okay. Uh, 
Hey, buddy. Where are you gonna go? I will kill you. You know I'm so freaking weak. I always get like slightly irritated with these games. Cause I'm like, why aren't my people more OP? <laughs> Yes, of course, reinforcements. It's the first level and you're the bad guys. Really. There's always axe people in the first level. I don't know why. Like, I, I guess they, it's because they have like basic range and like most of your beginning people have swords, I guess. I guess that's the rationale behind that. Roy is not our boy. He's being freaking useless. Okay. Uh, we're just gonna chance it. Nice! Boars, you rock. I'm sorry I'm not gonna use you at all. <laughs> I take back what I said about you being useless, even though you kind of are. Because you are never gonna be able to reach anybody else. Um, I, I give you that credit. You now have that. You have my respect. Okay. And another nice point is... Um, though he's hitting twice, it's because he's the faster one, like I said earlier. Um, Iron lances tend to be stronger than iron swords, that I've noticed, um, whenever you're just attacking people or whatever. Uh, iron lances tend to hit more. Um, you. So you got 9 and you got 11. Like, that's usually what happens. Um, I don't want these guys to attack him with all well, these guys. if I want to attack him yet, because I don't know if I want him to be able to, like, like, all these people to be able to attack Alan here. I'd rather him, oh, I'll play it a little safe, because, <laughs> to be completely honest, the first time I was like, I'm gonna let's stream, or let's play. Let's stream. Jinkies. Um, give me money. All the townspeople always have freckles. Anyway, the first time I was going to play this, I'm like, oh yeah, but I was like super nervous, and then I died. I was like, I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed of failure upon this earth. Shame to all the Fire Emblem games I've played and beat. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Bring it. Suck it. <laughs> can't hit me. Come. Oh, okay, Boris, you can time out. I, you, you know what? You know what? Go home. Nobody wants you here. <laughs> nice. I love it when it's like, right, just the right amount. It's like that Pacha meme where it's like, whenever the hit point is just right. Okay. Even at 10. And yeah, there's one buddy up there. But, uh, yeah. So I probably just jinx myself. Probably just like, ah, he's not gonna do any serious damage, and he's gonna run down and like kill somebody because these games are douchebaggy like that sometimes. <laughs> oh, I was playing Sacred Stones once, and legitimately, this guy had an 18% hit chance, and he hit me. And I was like, I just wanna, I'm just gonna curl up in my bed and just stay there for like a week because this is, this is BS. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that little dude there, because who cares? He's... Oh, and by the way, if you guys wanna go like visit these houses, they just like chat. He's like, woo, and they give you hints. So if you now yeah, see look, trees! Yeah, there's terrain bonuses. So like, I'll show you when my turn comes back. Hurry up! Oh Alan, oh no. Okay, don't you dare kill him. Sweet, sweet. Because you're stupid little bow bag. Okay, I'll give you one more chance, Boris. Do something worth anything. Yeah, your hit chance is horrible, but whatever. Nice! I don't understand you, Boris. You confuse me. Anyway. Yeah, so like, look, if you see on the bottom left there, there's like, defense and avoid. Per, like, little location, whatever. So it helps you know, like, where they're good. Just, just generally, if there's different terrain, unless it's like sand or something, it's get, making your move worse. It's generally helping you out. Okay. <laughs> ah, Walt. Okay. Come 
come on. What's up? Oh, right. He's on friggin' four. It's supposed to be like, what's up with this kid? Can't be that strong. Yeah, I think that, I think that swords have, like, are weaker, but they have a better hit chance than lances. Let's check that out. So you got your hit there. Yep, see? That's the thing, like, you don't really have to look at those, but if you're, like, wondering what the tendencies of, like, weapons are, helpful to check out. Or you can just listen to me. I know things. Sometimes. Yay, level up! Defense, defense! Oh. When I'd play, like, Radiant Dawn and Path of Radiance, I'd always, like, cheer. Defense, defense! Oh, why did I attack with him? I meant to attack with him. Oh, dang it. So I could heal him. Whatever. What's done is done. I'm gonna go and park myself on this little shrubbery here. And here. Get everybody nice and close and cozy. Bring it on! I still I still laugh because Lance uses a <laughs> Lance. They didn't give him a friggin' lance! Like, <laughs> come on! The pun is so real! <laughs> Maybe it's a paltry sense of humor or something. Sorry! Okay. Yay! Less sucky! Nice! Defense! Awesome! I love defense. Even if you're weak, at least don't take as much damage. That's what nice. No, stop it. Getting butterfingers here. Oh, I keep doing that. Let me check the range. I'm gonna have to like pre play some of these levels just so <laughs> I can like actually know the plot as I go. Because I've just been talking. No, actually, listening to what's, what's what. Let me check if he has his. Aww. Or whatever the crap they're called. I feel like to this day, I just I just call them vulneries, and if you don't like that, oh, no, oh, it is vul vulnerary. I'm not gonna call it a vulnery because why not? It's my let's play. <laughs> I was watching a different let's play actually, and they called him like a vulner D, and I was like, where's where's the D or the T? But I was like, man, who cares? You can call it whatever they want. Yeah. Though they called Nini like Nini? Nini or something, and I was like, Ugh, my childhood. <laughs> anyway. Da, 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 da. Oh, I, I forgot to mention. If you're, if you're like still sticking around through this whole video, I can tell you in the future I was I was planning on um, if I continue doing Let's Plays, which I want to. So yes. Um, I'll probably end up covering a couple more Fire Emblem games, but also I'm looking into Undertale because I hear it's really good and it's like pixels, so it's just like, oh, inside. As well as, um, I might replay Portal and Portal 2 because, like, I beat those, I beat Portal 2 in one day and I was like, this is the shining moment of my life. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> but, um... Oh, and, uh, I don't know if you, any of you guys have heard of it, but Magical Star Sign? It sounds, like, stupid, but it's actually a great game. So I might get to edumacate some people as to this randomly unknown game that's actually really quality stuff. Okay. Aha, the music! Telling me I'm winning. Even though I still have the high chance of dying. <laughs> Okay, bring it on! That's right, suck it. I'm out of your range. I'm a delicate balance between, like, very careful strategy and then, like, just, like, chucking my people out there and being like, let's see if they live! <laughs> but I'm trying to steer away from that, though, so I don't have to, like, re-record these videos every... 10 minutes. And the length will, of these will depend. I won't just do like one per level because some of the levels get like ridiculously long. 
but it'll just vary depending on how like how much I want to have to like redo if I mess it up. <laughs> okay, let's see. Do I really want to eat? Yeah, I might as well use it. Like, it's gonna be helpful for a few levels at least. He hasn't gotten level up yet. Yay. Okay. This little dude. So bosses always have faces, generally, unless they're like some sort of like enigmatic being, I guess, that has a hood on or something. Ooh, I can walk on the village. Um The Ashes of the Dead. Oh, that's kinda of depressing. Anyway, um, as well as if somebody ever has like a face, generally you that means you can like recruit them. Um so you just stand around. Or usually you talk with Roy or they'll like mention somebody like, oh, such and such character will be talked about beforehand. Or like there'll be special focus on that character before you start the level. So typically that's a good indicator of who you talk to them with. It's a little actually nicer in this in the old games because you can like, I guess, it's not just the main dude, it's like there's interconnecting relationships and stuff, which I find really interesting. But that's just me. I'm a sucker for like all the classics. Quote unquote classics. I actually haven't played Pokemon before, which people are like, ah, oh, sinner! And I'm like, <laughs> but I'm, that's on my list to Let's Play. So if any of you guys want to see a Let's Play of Pokemon Emerald, that's, that's on my list. Like, number two after this one or something. Yay, I didn't die! <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. Well, I'm going to conquer, and I will go through this little, like, dialogue thing, and then I will sign off. Roy, is that you? Well, hopefully. You recognize your son. Please. Ah, optimism. That's right. So not easy to say that to yourself. Are you good? Well, I'm alive. <laughs> mm -hmm. Join the Alliance Army. Yeah, he's got elite stuff. Start to conquer Lycia like a douchebag. Because you're still studying, but I would only get in the way. Send her with. Yes, do it. For the ship. Yes, magic users. I love magic users. Please come. Aw. Why you gotta be like that? I wanted her to come with me. Fire the crap out of people. Oh, no, yes. I guess you have to, like, placate the citizens. Yeah, I get Merlinus. Show them who you are. Prove yourself. Yes. Send him with me. The chin man. Chin of strength. Okay, well, thanks for watching, everybody. This was my first video, so I'm excited about it. If you got to this far, I appreciate it a lot. Uh, so I will continue this in the next part. I'll see you guys around.